Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation, with another United States Mint unboxing delivered relatively quickly. And we're going to be talking a little bit about liberty in this video. Indeed, yes, we're going to do it the right way. We're going to cut away from ourselves. Why? Just because, you know what, safety is something maybe we should consider from time to time. But you know what? Without security and safety, those things would be meaningless if we sacrifice our liberty. And that's what this video is going to be about as we unbox these things here. I got three of them. Probably should have ordered more because they did uh, sell out. Um, although um, um, that, don't, that remains to be seen because apparently they've been coming up from time to time uh, in, 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 uh, from the United States Mint's website early in the morning. And look at that. We have a very soft creature that made its way into the frame momentarily. But uh, that does not happen very often, but it has happened now. Let's take a look and see what these things are about. Let's pull the creature back in the frame one more time just for gets and shiggles here. All right, the kitty is a little bit... Okay, there we go. All right, nicely done there. Okay, we can handle that. Uh, so... With United States Mint, you have to wonder about their quality uh, from time to time. Uh, but uh, these are packaged fairly nicely. And they come in the same type of uh, packaging that we saw with the gold. But this is the 2022 American Liberty Silver Medal. Yes, indeed. We'll place that certificate right there for the little kitty. And we're going to pull it out. And we can see here... There's some strange things happening on that case, on that clamshell, here and there. A little bit dinged up, strange, but let's take a look at the metal itself. It's on a 40 millimeter planchet. In fact, uh, before we actually pull that out, we can see on the certificate of authenticity that it is indeed on a 40 millimeter planchet there, which is the same planchet used, and that as planchet is just another word for blank. Uh, that is used on the Silver Eagle. So you use the same one of these, and the mintage limit is 75,000. If memory serves, it does not give a mintage limit here. Uh, but nonetheless, um, Silver Wolverine did a video uh, on this metal uh, and coming back available again for a time because apparently maybe some of these did not sell at the ANA show in Chicago. But there we can see uh, this is actually signed by the Chief Administrative Officer of the United States Mint, who was the Acting Mint Director for a very short amount of time before she was booted for the uh, current Mint Director. Nonetheless, let's take a look here and see what the metal looks like in hand. And it is nice, although immediately I see problems. It struck off center pretty dramatically, which is um, one of the major, one of my major pet peeves of the United States Mint. And one of the reasons why I got three of them is because maybe I'll get one that doesn't have these types of issues and where the metal was struck off center. This happened on my gold one as well. And you can see how the rim is narrower here and thicker there. And also sometimes you can tell just by looking at the case or the capsule rather that uh, there's some thinning involved. And we're gonna actually take this out of the capsule to see if that is the case. But uh, liberty is a principle and a foundation that is unique to nations that are um, representative republics these days. And uh, it's something that I believe we're losing some of our liberty here in the United States of America, and that's sad to see. Yes, you can kind of see some semblance of thicker uh, side here, which means there's some thinning involved. And you can kind of see it there, which is sad to, to know that that's happening. And off center there, you can see where the Liberty there, and you can see that it's off center, but Liberty, a principle, a foundation. And in this case, what is it? It's this horse, the Mustang, bucking off the yoke of tyranny uh, as representative by the uh, Great Britain at the time. Multiple levels of frosting, you can see and uh, the sun is not frosted quite as, as much as the rest of the piece is. There, I, 
think they could have done that a little bit better without that sun coming all the way down and putting the year behind it. But nonetheless, uh, there it is. And um, otherwise, it's a very nicely done piece other than not being on center. We're going to actually take a look at the other, other pieces here. But if I was to send this back, likely I'd get one just like it or even worse off-centered and thinning happening there. And let's put that back in. We're boring the kitty here. I hope I'm not boring you like I'm boring the soft creature here. Nonetheless, it is what it is. Let's pull the second one out and see if perhaps this was struck from the same uh, die, which means it'll have the same type of situation. This case appears to be in a little better shape. Quality issues are always a problem with the United States Mint for some of their releases. This one indeed appears to be about the same, a little off center, but not quite as bad, but still there. We're not gonna take this out of the case, but the reverse is really off center. The quality issues there, the United States Mint, it's not right there, It's this rim is narrower than on this side. And the tall tail sign is, if that rim is, of course, being a wider planchet means that likely this is not going to be um, as exaggerated. But nonetheless, there it is, Liberty. And if you have ordered these, let me know if yours are off center. But, uh, you know, Liberty is under threat, I believe, these days, more so than ever before. And I'm not really one, you know, we our system of, of uh, government here and the checks and balances, I still think that there's, uh, still some time before we see any major, any major uh, threats to our liberty, but there are noticeable threats now than ever before. And uh, my hope is that we can restore liberty in due course, but it's anybody's guess. Uh, we'll see. It depends on how the elections go and checks and balances. That's the beautiful thing about a representative republic. It's just checks and balance system does work and my hope is that it will continue to reflect what uh what we desire in terms of the overall uh you know foundations of what this country was founded upon the foundations are limited government individual liberty and part of that individual liberty and what comes with freedom is responsibility we're responsible for ourselves Yes, indeed, not to rely on a government. I think this is probably the best example of the three, although it is still struck off center, especially there on this side. You can see the rim is much narrower than on this side. Um, unfortunately, especially for something that costs 75 bucks a piece, but that one will be the keeper. And uh, nonetheless, there it is, uh, the American Liberty, a metal. And let's actually, you know what, we'll pull this out again. Because, uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's sad to say uh, that, um, you know, I see more and more in the comments where uh, people are saying that they trust other countries, even countries that are not friends of the United States, um, and that they are, their leaders and their system is better than ours. You know, we've come into a sad state when people are so disillusioned by what's going on. Although I would say, and and counter that and say, hey, you know, things are bad here in the United States, but you know what? It could be a whole lot worse. And the thing is, what we need to do is we need to vote and be and to do things to make it so that it is not worse to get like some of those other countries. Uh, we don't want to be like some of those other countries um, that um, are doing things that are um, seemingly may seem to be somewhat positive in some points of view. But we're looking at it from the Western point of view. Um, likely you talk to some nations or to some folks, citizens of those nations, and get a, get a balance, get a, like for instance, Venezuela or even Russia. And I know there's some in this community who are from Russia. Um, and, uh, but nonetheless, you know, um, things may be fine. Russia's a big place, uh, but there is a lot of things and a lot of freedoms that they don't have that we have here to this day, even in spite. So there, there you have it. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. But liberty is a, is a principle that is on all of our coins, and in this case, it is on a metal. 
uh, quite profoundly inscribed here. And that is something that we should work to preserve. You know, next time you take a, a quarter or a dime or a, a cent or a nickel out for your change, take a look at that word, and what it represents. Um, to me, those principles are, are dear and should be dear to everybody, no matter what your political stripe is. You know, liberty is important and it's part of what uh, makes America great. And so let's work to preserve that. Um, no matter where you fall in the political spectrum, we can all agree on the foundation of liberty. Um, we have different ways of getting there, but I think at this point in time, we've gotten to the point where it's not necessarily about left or right or Republican and Democrat. It's really more about right and wrong and to where our uh, ideals from which we were founded upon are under threat more so than ever before. And there you have it. Let me know what your thoughts are about this medal and about the principles of liberty. And I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.